guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Deanna and today I'm going to be doing a honest review on We All Looked Up by Tommy Wallach. I don't know why I said honest review because I don't know what other kind of review I could do. Before I get into it, the reason why I read this book was because the TBR jar paper thing that I pulled out had the category published in 2015, so this book was published in 2015. <laughs> but yeah, at the end of this video I will be picking out another category for the next however long I read and yeah. So with this book I'm not 100% sure if I liked it or not. I did think about stuff that I would do at the end of the world and that's about it. That's all I really liked. Plus the cover was really nice and that's why I picked it up. I know, don't judge a book up by its cover, but I hadn't heard anything about this book. I hadn't heard anything about the author so I thought I'd pick something up that I hadn't had a review on because I don't really like going into something when I have a pre- known review in my head. Before I get into the things that I don't like about this book, be wary that there may be spoilers. I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to say or what might slip out or what would make sense if I didn't edit something out. But yeah, there might be some spoilers. So yeah, a couple of things I didn't like about this book was that the characters had absolutely no development in my opinion. So the way this book is written is in each chapter is a countdown from 10 until the asteroid hits Earth. And in that chapter, there are sub-chapters of point of views from the different characters, whose names are Peter, Eliza, Andy, and Anita. And to be honest, I think Eliza and Anita are too close of similar names. He should have chosen different names because otherwise I kind of kept getting confused as to who did what and who was in relevance to who. Other than that, they didn't seem very different from each other. I did have to keep looking back at the start of the subchapter to see who I was reading from whose point of view. But it was also really confusing because each subchapter was written in third person. So it was still from a narrator's point of view, but it was towards someone else. And then you have to remember who was Eliza and who was Anita and who did what and blah blah blah. And I just didn't like that. I didn't have time for going back to check that. This book should have made me remember who was who and who I was reading about and should have separated them into different characters and just gone into more depth. Other than lack of depth of this book, there were a couple of other things that weren't really clarified. Like Peter's sister was said to be pregnant by her ex-boyfriend or boyfriend or whatever. Now I'm trying to still figure out, was that an excuse to make Andy think that that was why she came and why they were talking? Or was that just like not a thing at all and that was just a lie? I need to know this because was she pregnant? Was she not pregnant? Was it a lie? Was it true? It wasn't really clarified and that kind of really annoyed me. <sighs> okay, so I think I don't like that book more than I did to start with in this. I don't know, I'm so confused. Before I finish this video, I do want to say that my aim wasn't to taint your opinion on the book, whether you have read it or haven't read it. If you want to read it, still I recommend it because I have seen a couple of the reviews on Goodreads and they are so different to what I think. A lot of people like it, some people don't, some people agree, some people disagree. It is all based on your opinion and this is solemnly my opinion. And now that I have finished that category, I am going to be picking a category out of my little TBR jar for the 2015 challenge, if I can open the lid. And it is book at the bottom of your TBR list. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed my review of We All Looked Up by Tommy Wallach. Before I go, good luck on your website next week. <laughs>